We're asked to solve the equations over the interval from 0 to 2 pi, including 0 radians and not including 2 pi radians. The first equation is tangent x plus 1 equals 0. We first isolate tangent x by subtracting 1 on both sides, which gives us tangent x equals negative 1. Using the unit circle, tangent theta is equal to y divided by x. Since we want y divided by x to be equal to negative 1, we need to find the points on the unit circle where the x and y coordinates are opposites of one another. When we divide opposites, the quotient is always negative 1. So the first thing to recognize is that the terminal side of the angles must be in quadrant 2, where x is negative and y is positive, or in quadrant 4, where x is positive and y is negative. Looking in the second quadrant, notice how at this point here, where x equals negative square root 2 divided by 2, and y is equal to positive square root 2 divided by 2, y divided by x is going to equal negative 1, and therefore the terminal side of the angle must intersect the unit circle at this point here. And we know the initial side is along the positive x-axis, and therefore the angle from 0 to 2 pi radians would be this angle here that measures 135 degrees, or 3 pi over 4 radians, or 3 fourths pi radians. So the first solution is x equals 3 fourths pi radians. And now we'll have another solution in the fourth quadrant. Notice at this point on the unit circle, where x is positive square root 2 divided by 2, and y is negative square root 2 divided by 2, y divided by x is also negative 1, and therefore the terminal side of the angle must be this right here, the intersects the unit circle at this point. And therefore, in standard position, the angle is going to be 315 degrees, or 7 fourths pi radians, or 7 pi over 4 radians. So there are two solutions to the equation over the given interval. And now let's solve the second equation. We are given cosecant x minus 2 equals 0. The first step is to add 2 to both sides to isolate cosecant x. So we have cosecant x equals 2. On the unit circle, cosecant theta is equal to 1 over y, which is a reciprocal of the sine function value. And since we know that cosecant x equals 2, let's also find the sine function value. We can write the cosecant function value as a fraction with the denominator of 1, which means if cosecant x equals 2 over 1, then sine x must equal the reciprocal of 2 over 1, which is 1 over 2 or 1 half. It'll be easier to solve this equation here because on the unit circle, sine theta is equal to y. So to solve the given equation, let's find where the y coordinates on the unit circle are equal to positive 1 half. Well, we know y is positive in the first quadrant and the second quadrant. And notice the y coordinate is positive 1 half at this point of the unit circle. And therefore, this ray would be the terminal side of the angle in standard position. We know the initial side is here. And therefore, the first solution to the given equation is x equals 30 degrees, or pi over 6 radians, or 1 sixth pi radians. So let's give the first solution as x equals 1 sixth pi radians, which again is commonly written as pi over 6 radians. There will also be a second angle with the terminal side in the second quadrant. Notice at this point on the unit circle, the y coordinate is also positive 1 half. And therefore, the sine function value is 1 half, and the cosecant function value would have to be 2 over 1 or 2. And therefore, the terminal side of the angle must be this ray here that intersects the unit circle at this point where y equals 1 half. In standard position, this angle is 150 degrees, or 5 6 pi radians, or 5 pi over 6 radians, which means the second solution over the given interval is x equals 5 6 pi radians. I hope you found this helpful.